Out front now, Democratic Senator Chris Coons. He's a longtime ally of President Biden and now fills the Senate seat from Delaware that Biden once held. So, Senator, um, I know you had a chance today at a conversation with Senator Manchin. You know, he's still publicly saying he's at one point five trillion dollars. Uh, is that what you take away from your conversation? What I heard from Senator Manchin was that he and President Biden uh, had a very positive, a very purposeful conversation over the weekend, as I think we all know. Uh, and I reminded him of the urgency of this week and the timing. Uh, President Biden goes to the G20 and to the uh, Glasgow uh, Global Climate Conference, uh, and it will make a significant difference if we can get to an arrangement here uh, where the infrastructure bill moves forward on the House and where there's a framework for the Build Back Better bill. Um, both of them would make historic investments uh, in programs like uh, pre-K and child care and in combating climate. So, you know, I, I know, though, you were also in a meeting last week uh, between Manchin and Sanders. And when you, you, you were talking to Axios about that, you know, you talked about the vigorous discussion where Manchin's basically like, I'm fine with zero with a goose egg. Uh, and Bernie says six trillion dollars. So do you really I mean, do you really believe that, you know, everyone's just going to come down to where Manchin is and he doesn't move at all? Everybody else moves and that's going to be the way this goes? Aaron, I'm still optimistic that because there is consensus in our caucus about the need for middle class families to get more support, to get more help so they can get back to work, uh, whether that's in paid family leave uh, or in support for the cost of daycare or in support for pre-K, um, that that is something we can come together around. I do think the top line is going to be closer to two trillion than to the three and a half trillion that we crafted a bill um, imagining back in August. Uh, but frankly, even at two trillion, this would be an historic investment uh, in these critical social needs that have gone unmet. But for you too believe long. that Manchin is going to move from today, saying I'm still at one and a half to, to two? You got that? In, you got that feeling? I am hopeful that both Senator Manchin and Senator Sinema will move on a variety of things, on prescription drug price negotiation, on raising the revenue um, through changes in our tax policy to pay for this whole program, yep. and in supporting the things we all agree on, which is the need to help families and to help support them as they try to get back to work following the pandemic by supporting things like pre-K and child care. Well, I'm glad you bring up, uh, of course, Senator Sinema, because we're talking about uh, you know Senator Manchin's, he's had his very specific issues. Senator Sinema's issues have been uh, somewhat less defined, obviously, but also different, right? And you talk about paying for this. Senator Sinema has said that taxing uh, the working wealthy and corporations are off the table. Now, I, I know there's talk of, of resurrecting something Senator Wyden's been working on for a long time, a sort of a wealth tax uh, for billionaires. But Wyden's been working on this idea for two years. They don't yet have legislative language yet, and so it's unclear how much it would raise, how it would be doable. So... Is there really going to be a pay for in this bill? I do think there will be a pay for. I think all of us agree that we should be uh, raising the revenue to pay for this so that we're not adding to the deficit. That's been a core principle that Senator Manchin has asserted over and over. Uh, and I do think that Senator Sinema's had constructive conversations with Chairman Neal in the House and Chairman Wyden here in the Senate. Um, there are things we can do to close the tax gap. Uh, there are hundreds of billions of dollars in unpaid taxes yeah. that the IRS, with some additional tools, um, could help collect on behalf of the American people. Um, I hope that she will come around on raising the corporate rate back to 25, because I think that's got broad support, not just in our caucus, but uh, among average Americans. Um, it is less untested and less unpredictable than doing a new wealth tax. Um, but both Senator Manchin and Senator Sinema uh, have said publicly and privately they want to find a way mm -hmm. to raise the revenue to pay for this important package that will move us forward in terms of America's working families. We'll see what happens with Senator Manchin. Thank you so much, Senator Coons. Appreciate your Thank time. Thank you, Ryan.